Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Beniza Marquis of Living Streams International, still on a Christmas roll. Uh, thoughts of Christmas and the applicative truths that are hidden in the Christmas story. That's what, I, that's what I'm bothered about. What I can do with the lessons of Christmas. Are there lessons of Christmas for me? Surely they are. And I want to move away from traditional celebration and all those other things. No, but I want to bring us to thoughts. And here's one of the things in St. Matthew chapter 2, if you remember, the wise men. And I like to call this uh, particular morning wise protections. Wise protections. Now, do you remember um, the wise men who followed the star and then they went to um, Jesus at, at, the, at the manger? Herod told them, when you see the baby, come tell me where the baby is lying. Then I'll also go and pay homage to the baby. And the Bible said they agreed. But after they had given, the Bible says, God warning them, an angel warning them, God told them that don't go to that Pharaoh again. Now here's the interesting thing. If there had been no divine intervention, those people, even though they were wise, would have been naive and they would have gone to give the whereabouts of the baby. If there had been no divine intervention, they will not have read into the thoughts and hearts because there's no art to read the mind's construction on the face. That's what Shakespeare said. So, 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 so here's, the, here's, the, here's the interesting thing. They would have gone back and given Harold the information he needed to kill the baby. You know, sometimes we inadvertently, not out of malice, supply information to people to kill our loved ones. Are you aware that sometimes there are some information that we should keep? Because the people seeking those information, they are looking for the information to use it destructively against our loved ones. And we can be naive. And we, because of the way we are, because we never are thinking evil about anybody, we would assume that nobody else thinks evil. But people are not like that. The wise men had the, a secret. The whereabouts of Jesus, the baby Jesus, if they had supplied that secret, that would have meant harm for the baby Jesus. That's exactly what we do. You can imagine the number of our friends, close friends and the, that we've helped nail to the cross. Not necessarily because we are evil, but we did it inadvertently. We did it without knowledge. We did it without discernment. We did it without wisdom. So when people come asking questions about your loved one of yours, and asking intimate questions and asking, they want to go into details. Give us the details. That is what Herod said. Give me the details of his whereabouts. Sometimes be very careful and find out whether those people really. And one of the things you, you can always find out Herod had something to lose because the wise men said, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Now he is his king. Then all of a sudden, a baby is born that's going to be king. His, his position is threatened. So Herod's questions were no questions seeking the welfare. It was questions to consolidate his position by wiping away the threat. So one of the things that you ask, what does a person stand to gain or lose by this inquisition, by these inquiries, by these uh, uh, pretensions? What has the person got to lose? So the wise man, one characteristic about their wise, being wise men was the ability to hear from God and not just to hear from God, but the ability to size up moments and situations and make the right choices. There's somebody whom you love and people will be asking some information about them. Don't say anything. Because sometimes in inadvertently saying those things, you would have given them away, your loved one away. And somebody's going to take them to the gallows not because of anything, but because of information that you gave. Wise protections. It's a choice you have to make. See you later.